Yes, initially we invested uh, 600 million euros at the prevailing exchange rate, let's say it was about 3,800 crores. Yeah. Since then we invested another 100 million euros, yeah, which let us say was about 800 crores. So totally I would say between about 4,500 to 5,000 crores is what we have invested totally in the factory in Chakan and with the suppliers. That was the total investment we made. I mean, safely, I would say, put it as 4,500 crores. Yeah. Short term, we, uh, our uh, perspective is that the market is not going to be a whole lot different from last year. I think it's going to stay a flat market for 2014 calendar year. But I think weighted towards the latter half of the year, because after the elections, we think things, the overall sentiment of the consumer is going to go up and that is going to boost sales. But overall we are seeing more or less a flat market or perhaps a very small growth compared to last year. But like I said, in the longer term perspective, we definitely see this as a growth market. And we in Volkswagen Group India as well as our management in Germany are fully committed to this market. I think it's very important. Why is an Indian consumer entitled to any less safety than any other consumer in the world. And why are we going to Euro 4 and Euro 5? Why don't we stick to Euro 2 and Euro 3? You know, why don't we go back down the technology la lane and go back? We have to advance. Our philosophy is very clear. We create a Volkswagen wherever we create, wherever we build this car and sell this car. And our philosophy is that the Indian consumer is also entitled to the same level of protection as they are entitled anywhere else in the world. We want to be a developed country, don't we? You know, we want to be a superpower, don't we? So we, we have to start getting up there. Fortunately or unfortunately, the Indian buyer is not uh, sufficiently sensitized on the safety aspects of a vehicle. Yeah, That is because India is still a young market for four-wheelers and cars. Many of them are first-time buyers, you know. So they do not know. For them, graduating from a two-wheeler to a four-wheeler is a huge migration in safety, huge improvement right. in safety. Mm -hmm. And I can understand their perspective. Yeah, mm -hmm. You can't blame the customer. Ultimately, customer is king. They decide what they want. But I think the customers are getting more and more uh, uh, sophisticated in terms of not only technologies that are in the car, but also in terms of the quality that the car provides, in terms of the durability. And increasingly, they will become aware of safety requirements and needs.